so what's Mr. Armstrong's secret? You ever had lunch at the Trey Bien Pal? Um, yes. So how was it? To put it nicely, it was inedible. <laughs> hey, don't worry about being nice around me, pal. You and I both know the reason that place is so empty is because of the food. I mean, the place is clean, and he's got a girl like Maggie as a waitress, so... Yeah, I guess it's probably the food. The real scoop on the guy is he's up to his ears in debt. Really? How much does he owe? This is a copy of his loan contract. He's about half a million in the red. Half a million? Are we talking dollars? Yeah. Hey, if it was Sterling, he'd be he'd really be in trouble. <laughs> Sorry, that figure just took me by surprise. Yeah, this case is full of surprises. And I'd be willing to bet that Chef's got something to do with most of them. That's my hunch. Jean's loan contract added to the court record. Jean's debt is half a million dollars. The, own, the owner of the loan is Tender Lender. <laughs> is that a person or a business? Tender Lender? <laughs> Can I ask him where Tender Lender is? It's for half a million dollars, pal! That's, um... Half a million dollar bills! <laughs> what was the um in there for? Is there really that much money tied up in this case? I can't give you an answer on that, pal. Not without the case file in front of me. But I'll tell you this. That Armstrong guy would have done anything for cash! He was desperate, you know? No, I don't, but I think I sort of get the picture. I can't ask him where Tender Lender is. He doesn't know anything about the bike. I don't have my doppelganger. So I, I gave him the poison, right? Okay, I gave him the poison. So I need to, like, get the poison back after a while. Let me keep moving. Alright, now that I have the newspaper back... So, this episode, unlike some of the other ones, this episode's... Like, it, it gates you. Like, it hard gates you. You have to do one thing after the other in a specific sequence. Whereas in some of the other episodes, you could do some things like... Uh, like, some things happen in parallel. And, in fact, in some of those cases, you would, like, exhaust everything, but you would miss one thing, and then you wouldn't know what one thing you missed. And that that's bad game design. That bad adventure game design. Whereas here, you can't really miss anything because you do have to, like, you have to pick up one thing after the other. Uh, but let's not judge this yet because we're not finished. It might, you know, it might uh, mess up at some point. Papers. There are no free. Do I just show this? Take a look at this. What is it? It's a newspaper I found behind the magazine's rack. At very good. So, what of it? This was the only paper there, and it's dated more than a month ago. Nani, do you see what I'm getting at here? That new that restaurant doesn't get newspapers. This is just one that a customer happened to leave behind. 
Ah. Ah. Tell me, why are you so determined to hide the truth? I'm not hiding anything. I'm going to have to put this guy out of his misery. Listen, the real reason why you go so much to very good is... Um... The waitresses. <laughs> what are you asking me about that girl for? She was the waitress at very good. Ah! Therefore, the answer to the mystery of why an old man would drink expensive coffee at a terrible restaurant is the waitress! Ah! But I don't recognize that face. And you're probably telling the truth here because you weren't looking at the girl's face but at her outfit. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? You became a regular at the restaurant because of the waitress's uniform. That uniform is all you can think about, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't take it. To you, that waitress was your... Enough, please! No more! Stop saying that word. Stop saying waitress. Stop it! <laughs> just... Just get a smartphone and, and look at porn on the internet, old man. <laughs> Yeah, porn is free. You don't have to pay for pay for bad food. <laughs> um, sir. Yes, it's true. I was there for the young girl. <laughs> fine. I'm a dirty, wicked, sinful old devil. No, it's perfectly fine. I'm just saying, porn is free. No, no. I didn't mean it like that. I even get one of those lousy cups of Java Chino every time for eight dollars. All because of the serving girl. Punish me. Lock me up. Really, that's not what I'm here for. You'll be the same another 20 years and you'll understand what it's like. No, I'll have virtual reality pornography. You'll know how painful it is to be an old man like me. <laughs> no, really. Listen, sir. Stop calling me that. I have a name, you know, boy. Show some respect. I'm Victor Kudo. Sorry, Mr. Kudo. You young ones think you know it all, don't you? Well, I'm not saying another word. I won't tell you anything more. This guy was in the restaurant at the time of the incident. Which means I have to hear his testimony one way or another. Mm. I don't believe this. I even broke his psyche locks and everything. I guess I have to try to get him when he's in a better mood. Alright, he won't say anything about that. Do I give this back to him? <laughs> I can't even give that back to him? Alright, well that was completely useless. But it probably unlocked something somewhere else. I can actually go back to the kitchen. Where's the chef gone? Hey, dead. Oh, she doesn't want to know about it anymore? Hey, I found your Matagama again. She's not gonna talk about anything anymore? Oh, now I have him in my in my court record. Oh, it's that old man. He's still feeding the pigeons. Yeah, he fed me as well. I got a bunch of those seeds in my eyes. Oh, I have to bring I have to bring Maya to make him talk. <laughs> I get it. Oh, ouch. Hey, Maya, would you mind coming with me for a while? Huh? Me? Why? There's something I really want to ask that old man. Sure. Okay, I'll just get changed. No, hang on. Can you go like that? <laughs> I guess? <laughs> this is a little bit gross, but sure, okay. I'm um, sir. Hmm, you again. Hmm, wow, wow. 
I see. Ah, Nick, his eyes are burning into me. It's okay, I think it's it's going pretty well. <laughs> Ka! Huh? You're still just a little child. Run along and play on the slide, alright? Play on the slide? Ah, we were so close. Just a little more and he would have spilled. Mm -hmm. uh, pigeon, Ka! How can we crack this guy? Oh, excuse me, please, sir. Quiet! Can't you see I'm feeding the pigeon? <laughs> Mia, hi. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, I see what you did there. <laughs> Well, if you don't mind, sir, I'd really love to talk with you. Ah, <laughs> oh, putting Mia in the maid costume. I didn't expect that. I actually did not expect that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> of course, certainly. I'm Victor, Victor Kudo. Even from beyond the grave, wow! <laughs> can I... Can I examine Mia a little bit? <laughs> About the incident... You mean the man who died after drinking the Java Chino? It's like he's a different person. It was quite a shock, even for me. He was a strange looking boy. The girl took the Javachino over to him, you see. And was the customer alone? Definitely, he was the only person at the table. Then he took one sip of his Javachino and. and. and he said something like, ARGH! and then collapsed. Dead! Oh, how terrifying. You're so good at listening, aren't you? <laughs> I'll tell you anything, whatever you want to know. He certainly seems to be telling the truth now. But it looks like Mr. Kuro doesn't see this other man either. Do you like the food at Very Good? Well, of course. I'm really quite a sophisticated man. I was a young businessman once, you know. I set up a casino in London. Really? How interesting. <laughs> Eating the food at that restaurant really takes me back to my days in France. What a lovely story. London's in England, not France. Oh yes, France is wonderful. I'd love to show you around the city sometime. It's too much. I can't take it. I want... France! Haha, <laughs> ha. I can't believe Mia's laughing at the guy. Sigh. <laughs> Well, Mia's dead, but at least she's having a good time. <laughs> you visit very good a lot, don't you? Of course, I mean yes. I'd like to come and see you there. The Mayo. Really? Oh, you flatter me so. <laughs> the owner would be delighted to welcome you, I'm sure. Be careful of that chef, my dear. The chef? You mean Mr. Armstrong? That's right, the man's an ex-con. Oh. He... he's an ex-con? Whatever did Mr. Armstrong do? Oh no, those eyes, I can't take this. <laughs> Mia's really got this guy eating out of her hand. <laughs> he steals things from his customers. From his customers? Gloves, handkerchiefs, little things, mainly. He's a pilferer, so you be careful around him, my dear. Are you sure about this? Of course, he was arrested for it once. I was there when it happened, having my Javachino. He really is a regular. Let me write you a little haiku about it. A haiku? A Japanese poem, I'll explain it 
all you need to know about that chef. Alright. Victor's note added to the court record. Convicted before. A wicked man or woman. <laughs> Repeat offender. <laughs> a wicked man or woman? If he takes anything again, you let me know. If it's not too expensive, I'll buy you a replacement. Poor guy. He couldn't do enough for Mia. Okay, Phoenix. That's about as much as I can do to help. <laughs> You've been a great help, Mia. Thank you. Thanks, Mia. We got some really important information thanks to you. Honestly, I can't believe Maya called me for something like this. <laughs> yes, Mia. Yes, it's a... Uh... It's a, it's a little bit fan servicey, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's a lot fan servicey. <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. January 6th, very good. Oh, I guess it's about time to wrap up today's investigation. Had enough of being a waitress. Yeah, plus no one came to the restaurant. <laughs> um, lit, mademoiselle, lit. I mean, how would you translate that, Miss Miss? Okay, Miss Maya. No, how can you leave me like this? I'm sorry. That reminds me. Mr. Armstrong had a psyche lock of three, didn't he? I'm going to have to break those. Mr. Armstrong, I hope you won't mind, but I'd like to have another word with you. Uh, what is that? Gladly. Gladly, of course. Um... Alright, let's go ahead and unlock him. Wait, 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 wait. Do I need the poison bag? I need the poison bag, I think. Before I unlock him, Maggie's motive. What is happening? I do not like this horrible feeling. I have to know the truth. What happened that day? I will... So? While? Then, yet, here, here. I'm trying to find the right... Here, here, I will confess everything, just don't hurt me. Huh, well that was a new world record. It was a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket. The man who died here had a lottery ticket. For half a million dollars! Half a million! Yes, but after the incident, this ticket... It disappeared! The ticket disappeared. That was the motive that the prosecution gave for Maggie. They said that she poisoned the man to get the half a million dollar lottery ticket. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Uh, I forgot that again. <laughs> But then, you've been trying to hide this information about the lottery ticket from me. And I want to know the reason why. No sir, you doubt me, but I have confessed to you everything I know. Mr. Armstrong, the half a million dollar lottery ticket, I think I know who took it. I think the winning ticket was stolen by this person. I think I need the poison bag first, hold on. Before I mess with him... Detention Center? Criminal Affairs Department? Okay, apparently not. Maybe they'll come back uh, tomorrow in court. Thank you. 
I think it was stolen by you! Mr. Armstrong, I believe there's a very high probability that was it was you! Ah! Wow, that is one piercing scream, even for a man like him. What? But why me? Why you have no evidence? Wait, is that? But accuse me? Is that? P P uh, Q but wait, yeah, no, but why, yeah, but why me? You have no evidence. I'm not Master Mask, I'm not the kind of person who steals the property of others. Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Armstrong, but I have evidence to the contrary. I present to you proof that you have stolen from others in the past. It's the Matagama, right? Or is it this? Apparently, apparently that's not it. So the fact that we found, we recovered the Matagama from his kitchen is not proof that he stole. But somehow, just like an old man, an old man's like note in haiku form is enough to 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 prove that he's stolen before. Why is that proof? What is this? A poem? Oh, sir, you know me so well. I adore poems. Please read it and put some feeling into it. Convicted before a wicked man or woman, repeat offender. I'm sorry to have to bring it up, Mr. Armstrong, but you have been arrested for stealing from your customers before, haven't you? How is that proof? <laughs> it's just somebody's poem. My god! Uh... The... 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 What is that? <laughs> The lies? The lies, you are a liar. You deny it? Do not make false accusations, please. So do you have any proof? I want to see the incontestable proof that I have ever stolen from one of my customers. Yet. <laughs> you stole from me? Why? Jesus Christ! Why didn't it accept this before then? It's the same thing. He asks you for evidence that he stole from, from people. And then he asks you again for evidence you stole from people. The two things prove the same thing, but one works and not the other. Bad puzzle design. It seems old habits die hard, Mr. Armstrong. What is that? This is my Matagama, and I found it in your kitchen. No! Wow, that scream just about broke some windows. Yes, yes, I have a weakness for little trinkets and figurines. My hand, it just slips out, I cannot stop it. Ew. You have stolen handkerchiefs, gloves and other things from your customers, right? Yes, it's the truth. I'm just a timid little girl inside, mister. A timid little girl. Besides, this time, it was not a small trinket, yes? It was $500,000. But no, why would I steal it? I have no need for such money. Really now? Oh sir, what is it? Isn't it true that you're in some pretty serious trouble? And that you are in desperate need of a large amount of cash? Wait, do I have proof of that? Okay, here it is. This restaurant is deep in the red, isn't it? Ah! You have a loan to the tune of half a million dollars. That lottery ticket would have wiped out your debts. Gang. Well, Mr. Armstrong, what do you have to say for yourself now? Ah. Uh. Ah! Oh, good.
Mr. Armstrong, you said that the victim had a winning lottery ticket for half a million dollars. How did you know he had something like that in the first place? The man, he was listening to the radio with his ear earpiece. Mm, Maggie said something about that too. The winning number was announced on the news, I think. All of a sudden, he exploded. Yes, half a million, he shouted. And the ticket... Yes, he had all of his tickets spread out on the table. I, I was so desperately in need of money, so I... Put the poison in his coffee? No, 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 no. Oh no, you naughty man. I simply helped myself to one of his tickets. What? The victim collapsed and Maggie passed out. I thought to myself... Uh... Wait... <laughs> but... Hold on. Don't... Why not? Okay, why not? Why not? He had so many of them. <laughs> why not? Yeah, but only one of them is was the winning ticket, right? How could you do that, Mr. Armstrong? Maggie was arrested because of you. No, this is not true. I did not take it. The ticket for half a million, I mean. But you just told us you did. You said you took a ticket. But no, my lady. Is that, is that, what? My lady? It was not. That's enough. Huh. Ah! Mr. Godo! What in the heck are you doing here? Ugh. This is without a doubt the worst coffee I have ever tasted, Mr. Armstrong. I mean, it is. He came in here for coffee? Does his craving for coffee know no bounds? Perhaps Mr. Armstrong stole one of the victim's tickets on the day in question. I am... A, an airhead, no? Just a pretty little girl who everyone is laughing at. But in that case, Maggie shouldn't be the only one under suspicion. He had the wrong ticket. What? Mr. Armstrong made off with the winning ticket's pretty neighbor. So, the ticket he took was worthless. Not quite. He did win something. A dollar. <laughs> you see, I'm just a pretty face. Without my looks, I have nothing. So... What happened to the winning ticket then? The one he meant to steal? Indeed, what did happen to it? I don't like spoiling myself by watching trailers, so... We'll just wait and see how the movie turns out tomorrow, won't we? Okay. Alright, bye. You two, time to laugh at the pretty little airhead. Looks like I won't be needing this note anymore. Okay. Pick this note thrown into the, into the trash. Looks like we've got a new mystery now. Namely, where did the winning ticket go? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, anyway. We can't let Maggie suffer any longer for this. And certainly not again. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Alright, well, we, we picked up a bunch of stuff. And tomorrow we're going to trial. Actually, are we going to trial? Let me look at the... Uh... Yep, trial. Anyway, see you next time.